just like uh, you have done in the straight line last year. Okay, you have a two point formula, you have a one point formula, but all these are interrelated. Okay, so uh, whatever we are doing uh, in today's class that can be used after three or four classes. So I request you all that uh, please complete the homework on time for three D. Otherwise, after some days, you will not be able to solve the problem. Okay, because uh, suppose uh, today we will start the straight line. After some time, after some days, we will start the plane, and in plane we will use the concept of straight line. But if you don't know, uh, if you don't know the formulas of straight line, you do not understand this. Then it is not possible for you to solve the questions of the plane. Okay, so it's a humble request that uh, please complete the homework of three D. Okay, in second part, really any student has uh, has completed the all the uh, has completed the chapter. Okay, but please don't do this for with three D. Otherwise, you will not be able to understand after four or five classes. Okay, for three for three classes it will be fine, but after three classes. You will face issue because I need the formulas which uh, I'm. I will tell you today. So submit your homework on time for three D. Okay, and uh, if you have a doubt, please connect with me after the class. Okay. Next is three dimensional geometry. Three dimensional geometry. Okay. Now. As you already know, we follow a right-handed coordinate system. This, okay. Uh, here you have a x. This is, we have a y. And this we have a z. So in this chapter, we will talk about the 3D, three-dimensional geometry. So we will take x, y, and z axis, okay. So today we will discuss directional cosine. First topic is direction cosine. Okay. Uh, what's the direction cosine? Suppose you have this line. You have this line. It is making an angle alpha with a positive direction of x axis. It is making an angle alpha with a positive direction of x axis. Making an angle beta with a positive direction of y axis, and it is making an angle gamma with a positive direction of z axis. Okay, so let this be line L. If a line, if a line makes, if a line makes angle alpha, beta and gamma with x, y, and z axis. Okay, if a line makes angle alpha, beta, and gamma with x, y, and z axis, then, then uh, cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma are called, are called the Direction cosine are called the direction cosine are called the direction cosine of the line L of the line L. Okay. Direction cosines direction cosines are denoted by R denoted by R denoted by L m and n so that means that means that is l is equal to cos alpha m is equal to cos beta n is equal to cos gamma okay so what a direction cosine if you have a line l which is making an angle alpha beta and gamma with the x y and z axis then cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma are called the direction cosine of that line okay so this is your line. This is making an angle alpha, beta, gamma with x, y, and z. Then this cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma are called the direction cosine of the line. Okay. And direction cosines are denoted by L, M, N. 
so that means l is equal to cos alpha m is equal to cos beta and n is equal to cos gamma now please note down this draw this raise your hands once it is done then we will solve some questions on the basis of this okay Uh, everyone, please raise your hands if it is done. So, third angle is cos x or cos gamma, sir? Uh, this is gamma. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so I have great. Uzefa, Atif, Nabil, please raise your hands if it is done. Okay, Nabil, very good. Atif and Uzefa, is it done? Okay, great, great Atif. Okay, then please try this question. Question is if a line, if a line makes angle, makes angle 90 degree, 60 degree, and 30 degree with a positive direction of, with the positive direction of, the positive direction of x, y, and z axis. Find its find its direction cosine. Okay. Um, please share your answer.
very good, Nabil. It is correct. Very good. Uh, Atif Zephasef, please share your answer. Uh, Atif, your answer is correct, okay, but the symbol uh, which you have used, that's incorrect, okay. Alpha is an angle. Alpha is not direction cosine, okay. We can say alpha is direction angle. L is direction cosine. So, L is cos alpha. It is equal to zero. Okay, Atif, please remember this. Similarly, M is equal to 1 by 2 and similarly, N is equal to root 3 by 2. Alpha, beta, gamma are the angles. So alpha is 90, beta is 60, and gamma is 30. Please remember this. Now, who is left? Uh, Zephyr and Saf, please share your answer. Is it done? Uh, Huzefa and Saf, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay. Huzefa, is it done? Huzefa, is it done? Okay, Huzefa, great. Next, uh, please read this. Find the direction cosine. Find the direction cosine of x y and z x y and z axis okay please try this question Uh, so, what are the angles of gamma, beta, and... Okay, alpha? so we will discuss one by one. First, we will discuss about the x-axis. Uh, anyone can tell me for x-axis, what is alpha? Uh, Nabil, can you tell me for x-axis, what is alpha? Anyone can tell me for x-axis what is alpha? Zero. Alpha is zero. Okay. What is beta? Ninety. Very good. What is gamma? Ninety. Very good. Excellent. All of you, please check here.
this is x, this is y, and this is it. Okay, so if you have x axis, what is alpha? Uh, the angle which a line make with the x axis. So x axis make an angle zero degree with itself. So that's why alpha is zero. What is the beta? Angle which a line make with the y axis. So if you will see, then x axis is making an angle ninety with the y axis. So that's why beta is ninety. What is gamma? The angle which x axis make with the z axis. So it is also ninety. So l is equal to what? Cos alpha. Uh, m is equal to cos beta and n is equal to cos gamma okay so l you will get as cos 0 which is equal to 1 m is equal to cos 90 which is equal to 0 and n is equal to cos gamma which is again cos 90 it is also 0 okay so i hope this is clear to everyone now we have found find out for uh, x axis similarly find for y axis and z axis and share your answer okay Uh, I will give you two minutes, okay? Please complete this. Very good, Nabil. It is correct. Atif, Zephyr, Saf, uh, please share your answer. Uh, very good, Atif. It is correct. Josef and Sef, uh, please share your answer. Uh, y is correct. Good. Uh, Saf, good. Please five for Z. Find for Z. Zephyr, is it done? Zephyr, is it done? Zephyr, is it done? Uh, Zephyr, uh, please confirm me. Okay, we need to complete this chapter as soon as possible. It's it's a very very lengthy chapter. Okay, and these are the simple topics. Please don't take so much time here. Confirm me, Zephyr. Is it done, or do you need help in this question?
need help okay check here so Josefa, we have discussed about the x-axis now please tell me for y-axis what is alpha beta and gamma and it is better if you will unmute yourself okay it will save our time so for y-axis what is alpha what is beta and what is gamma Very good. Alpha is 9, beta is 0, gamma is 90. Very good. What is L? L is alpha. That means L is cos alpha, M is cos beta, N is cos gamma. Okay. Yes. Is what? Cos 90, M is cos 0, N is cos 90. Yes. Okay. So here you will get zero. Here you will get one. Here you will get a sorry. Here you will get a zero. Okay. Now, uh, Josefa, please tell me for z-axis. What is the value of direction cosine for the z-axis? Uh, very good, Josefa great okay now we will start next uh, before this direction ratio we will write a note uh, notice always remember if you are finding this l square m square plus n square then it will always give you one l square plus m square plus n square will always give you one we will do the proof of this okay so check here It is X, it is Y, it is Z. Okay. Next, you have this line. Okay. Suppose its coordinate are X comma Y comma Z. Uh, and it is making an angle. Suppose alpha with X axis, beta with Y axis, and gamma with Z axis. Okay, and the coordinate is x comma y comma z. Now, from these coordinate, if I want to make a vectors, for example, I'm making this vector r. I'm saying that the uh, this is origin. Okay, so the position vector is r. So anyone can tell me what will be the r in this case. You have the coordinate x uh, x comma y comma z. Uh, anyone can tell me what is vector r here? xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap. Very, very good. xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap. Okay. I hope this is clear to everyone. We have done this multiple of time. If a coordinate is given, then we can find the position vector by using i cap, j cap, and z cap. Okay. k cap, sorry. So we have this r. Okay. Now, if I will draw a perpendicular, let this point be P. From this, if I am drawing a perpendicular here, let this be M. Okay. Then, then in triangle, in triangle OPM, in triangle OPM, cos beta is equal to what? Base by hypotenuse. Base is OM. Hypotenuse is OP. So we can say that cos beta is equal to what is om here oh, okay let let this we take this as om uh, okay uh, om so this coordinate is x comma y comma z okay we are taking on y axis so this will be y is it clear to everyone this coordinate is y okay so that means uh, this, no sorry just give me a minute uh, cos beta is equal to om by op op is this is your vector r so we will take its magnitude r okay now cos beta is equal to what is om here this point this is y this is y here om okay so this will be y by magnitude of r okay it is in 3d it is a 3d so uh, maybe you will fa you are facing some uh, issue but please check here as we have taken this on y axis okay and this is coordinate y so that means this complete will be y 
this one this will be y this is y okay so it is y by magnitude of r and we can say here that y is equal to and we can say here y is equal to magnitude of r and cos beta okay and what is cos beta how we represent cos beta so we can say l m n okay here we are taking cos beta so this is m so m into magnitude of r okay now similarly similarly we can also say that x is equal to l into magnitude of r and we can also say that z is equal to n into magnitude of r okay so we have these values now anyone can tell me that we have this one so how can we write this magnitude of r root x square plus y square plus z square this is equal to under root x square plus y square plus z square okay now everyone please note till here let me know if you have any doubt we will continue continue this okay raise your hands once it is done Uh, all of you, please raise your hands, okay, once it is done. Okay, Nabil, very good. All of you, please raise your hands if it is done. Okay, uh, great. So I hope everyone has done this. Now, uh, magnitude of R is this. We have these values, okay? Let this be one, this be two, and this be three. We have three values. So here, what we will get x square plus y square plus uh, x square plus y square plus z square. It is equal to what is x? X is uh, l 
magnitude of r it's a square plus what is y m magnitude of r it's a square plus z is n magnitude of r whole square x square plus y square plus z square is equal to here you have magnitude of r square so l square plus m square plus n square now anyone can tell me what is the value of this x square plus y square plus z square do you have any we have any value in terms of magnitude of r anyone can tell me if you will see this one this 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 one okay if you will do the squaring on both sides so we will get magnitude of r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square okay so in place of this we can put this value so here you have magnitude of r square is equal to magnitude of r square l square plus m square plus n square okay this will get cancelled out so you get l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 okay so or always remember this result l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 they will not ask you the derivation of this okay they will not ask you the derivation but remember the result we will use it uh, in many questions l square plus m square is equal plus n square is equal to 1 i will give you only one minute please note down this confirm me then we will start the next topic Uh, everyone is it done please raise your hands we have to start a next topic so okay Atif. who's the first half Nabil is it done yes sir okay okay so I hope everyone has done this let me start the next topic next is direction ratio direction ratios okay let r is equal to vector r is equal to ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap we have a vector r which is ai cap bj cap ck cap then a b c are called are called the direction ratios are called the direction ratios direction ratios of r direction ratios of r okay so if you have a vector r then a b c are called the direction ratios of r okay okay uh next uh, write a note direction ratios direction ratios are proportional direction ratios are proportional to direction cosine always remember this direction ratios are always proportional to direct to direction cosine to directional to direction cosine okay so what are the direction ratios a so that means a is proportional to l b is proportional to m n is proportional to uh sorry b is proportional to m 
and c is proportional to n so we can use any constant for example a is equal to kl b is equal to km and uh, this c is equal to k l okay or or what we can do uh, i need one result here just just give me a minute okay uh, we will do in um, okay that's fine uh, is uh, or we can say like this also that l is equal to lambda a m is equal to lambda b n is equal to n is equal to lambda c uh, uh, n is equal to lambda c okay now we will drive a result from here l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 so from here we can say lambda a square plus lambda b square plus lambda c square is equal to 1 so lambda square we can take out common you will get a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1 so from here shift this term so you will get 1 by a square plus b square plus c square now what you will get is a lambda lambda is plus minus uh, 1 by a square plus b square plus c square okay so you can use any value of lambda either positive or negative okay so we will use positive value always to find the direction cosine so finally we will get this result so we have l is equal to lambda a m is equal to lambda b n is equal to lambda c so what we can do here lambda you have plus minus 1 by a square b square plus c square put this value here put this value here so what you will get l l is equal to a by this value okay so i'm considering only the positive so you will get l is equal to a by a square plus b square plus c square similarly m is equal to b by under root of a square plus b square plus c square and n is equal to c by under root lambda a square plus b square plus c square Okay, so please note down this, confirm me, then we will start some questions. Okay, if anyone have a problem, please let me know. Sir, so last one is under root a square b square plus c square, right, sir? Yes, under root. Okay, sorry, I miss you. Under root. Everyone, please raise your hands if it is done. Sir, uh, root of a square plus b square plus c square is basically magnitude of r, right? Uh, magnitude of r. If we will write a by under root of this plus b by this then say then we can say okay only one by under root a square plus b square is not the magnitude of r okay i will uh, i will explain you in the next slide okay uh, let me know is it done everyone one minute sir. okay okay Yes, sir. Okay, great, Atif. Uh, Nabil, Zephyr, Saf, is it done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great, great. So, uh, let me explain to you uh, here. So, R is equal to A I cap, Atif, plus BJ cap plus CK cap. 
okay and if you will find the unit vector r so that will be divided by its magnitude a square plus b square plus c square okay plus i cap plus b by a square plus b square plus c square j cap plus c k cap by under root of a square plus b square plus c square okay so Atif, if you will find the magnitude of this unit vector of r then you will get a by this square b by this square c by this square okay so it is not the only under root is one by under root a square b square c square is not the magnitude of r okay so now everyone please note down this confirm me then i will give you a question okay Is it none? Was the first half a beat? Yes, sir. Was the first half? Is it done? Okay, I think good. Was the first half? Okay, great. Okay, so if you have a direction ratio, then how you will find direction cosine? Suppose you have this R is equal to A I cap plus B J cap plus C K cap. If you have this, these are the direction ratios. So direction ratios are given. If you need to find the direction cosine, then you will use a by under root of complete a square plus b square plus c square. Similarly for m, similarly for m. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Uh, please try this question. If a line has, if a line has direction ratios if line has direction ratios uh, this one 2 minus 1 minus 2 determine determine its direction cosine determine its direction cosines okay all of you please try this one
two by nine. Is it not two by three, Seth? Seth, is it not two by three? This is this should be an under root, okay? So it should be two by three, Seth. Josefa, Atif, Nabil, uh, please share your answer if it is done. Sir, L is 2 by 3, M is minus 1 by 3, N is minus 2 by 3. Very, very good, Atif. It is correct. Saf, Josefa, and Abil, uh, please share your answer. So I got the same answer. Very good, Saf. Josefa and Nabil. It's the same. Good. Very good, Josefa. It is correct. Okay, and now try next question. Next is find the Find the direction, find the direction cosines, find the direction cosines of the line, find the direction cosines of the line passing through the point, passing through the two points. Uh, or Mm, passing through the two points minus two comma four minus five and one comma two comma three okay so we can even uh, solve this question directly or uh, i can tell you the formula okay uh, direction cosine of line passing through two points direction cosines of lines of line passing through two points okay passing through two points passing through two points okay so let this be x this be origin this is y this is it you have a line which is passing through two point. Point is A. Suppose it is X1, Y1, Z1. This is B. Okay, this line is passing through here. X2, Y2, and Z2. Okay, if we need to find the direction cosine, then use this formula. L is equal to uh, X2 minus X1 by magnitude of AB. M is equal to y2 minus y1 magnitude of ab n is equal to z2 minus z1 magnitude of ab and what is ab ab is nothing ab is this one under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square Okay, so what exactly I'm doing here, check, please check here. If you will find AB vector, then it will be equal to what? X2 minus X1 I cap plus Y2 minus Y1 J cap plus Z2 minus Z1 K cap. Okay, so you will get these as the direction ratios of AB. If you have to find the direction cosine, you will divide this with its magnitude. Magnitude means this one, x2 minus x1 whole square, y2 minus y1 whole square, plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? If you have two points, you need to find the direction cosine, then either you can use this direct formula. And why we are getting this result? Because if we will form a vector, then we will get this x2 minus x1 i cap, y2 minus y1 j cap, and this one. For finding the direction cosine, divide this with its magnitude. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Please note down this and solve this question and share your answer.
Okay, uh, I've shown you to exp if you have any doubt, uh, remove this. You have to use this formula to calculate the direction cosine. Sir, is uh, L is equal to 3 by root 77, M is equal to minus 2 by root 77, and N is equal to 8 by root 77. Very good, Atif. It is correct. Uh, square root and under root 77, that's correct, Nabil. But what's the complete answer? Uh, sir, 3 by under root 77, minus 2 by under root 77, and 8 by under root 77. Very, very good, Nabil. It is correct. Uh, Jose and Sef, please confirm if you're getting the same answer. Is it done? Zephine Seth, shall we start next? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, great. Uh, okay, so let me start next. Now we will start a next topic, equation of line. Equation of line, okay. Direction ratio, direction cosine, topic is completed okay you can do the questions on your own now we will start a new topic that is a equation of line in space in space okay so type one there are many many types in 3d so please complete the homework so that you will be able to remember the types type first is equation of line equation of line, equation of line passing through a point, passing through a point, passing through a point, and parallel to a vector. Uh, I will write and parallel to a vector, parallel to a vector. Okay, it is a type first to a vector.
uh, it is x, it is origin, it is phi, it is z. So we need to find a equation of a line which is passing through a point and parallel to a vector. So suppose this is your point A, okay, and its position vector is A. So your line is passing through this point. Your line is passing through this point, okay? This is your line L. Now, suppose you have a vector B. This line is parallel to this vector B. Line is parallel to this vector B, okay? So what is given in this type is, they will give us a point through which the line is passing and they will give a vector uh, which is parallel to a line. Okay. Now here what we will do in this line, we will take a point R which have the position vector and its position vector is R. Okay. So on this line, we are finding the taking a position vector R. Just give me a minute. Uh, okay. Okay. Josefa. Okay, so you have this line which is parallel to the vector B. Okay, Josefa has gone for a Maghrib prayer. Uh, is there anyone who wants to go? Is, uh, okay. okay, okay, then I will give you a break of 10 minutes. Okay, because this is a very important topic. I don't want that anyone will uh, miss this one. So please uh, be back in 10 minutes. There's a 10 minute break. Please be back after 10 minutes. Okay.
Okay, so I hope everyone is back now. Uh, let's continue this. So we are discussing about the equation of a line in a space and our type first is equation of a line which is passing through a point and parallel to the vector. So here, uh, what is A? It is position vector of point A, position vector of given point, of given point. Okay, here the point is A. So your line is passing through this point. What is B? Vector parallel to line. Parallel to line. Okay. And we have taken a point R, which have the, uh, which have the position vector R. Now, what is AR? Anyone can tell me? You have this called this position vector R. You have for this position vector A. So what is AR in this case? Anyone can tell me? Atif, Saf, Nabil, anyone can tell me what is R here? AR? What's the formula? Uh, please raise your hands if you are uh, if you have already joined. Atif, Saf, Nabil. Okay. R minus A. Yes, that's correct. Nabil, are you there? Oh, okay, okay, great, 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 Saf. Thank you. Yes. So AR is R minus A. You already know position vector of r minus position vector of a so it is this now a r can we say that a r and b are collinear is it correct we can say a r and b are collinear okay then uh, yesterday also we have discussed so we can say a r and b are collinear okay so yesterday we have already discussed that if two vectors are collinear then what we can say we can say that a r means r minus a then we can say R and we can say R, R minus A is equal to lambda times of B. Okay, we have discussed this yesterday also and in collinear also that if two vectors are collinear, then we can say this AR means R minus A is lambda times of B. So we can say R is equal to A plus lambda B. So this is your vector form. I will write here that this is first one. And it is a vector form. Vector form. Okay, so R is equal to A plus lambda B is the vector form of this. So in equation of line in a space, we will find two things. First is vector form, second is Cartesian form. Okay, so in vector form, you need to find the answer in terms of vector. In Cartesian form, you have to find the answer in terms of coordinates. Okay. Um, Please note down this, raise your hands once it is done, then we will check the Cartesian form. Uh, is it done? Are this staff for Zephyr? One minute, sir. Okay.
Oh, Gizav, good. Uh, Nabil, is it done? Atif, is it done? Atif, Nabil, is it done? Yeah. Okay, Nabil, is it done? Okay, great. Uh, Josefa, you have just joined. Uh, uh, Josefa, we have also taken the break of 10 minutes. Okay. So, uh, please check here, Josefa. Uh, A is the position vector of the given point A. Okay. So, your line is passing through this point A. So, A is the position vector of that point. What is B? B is a vector which is parallel to this line. This is line and your vector B is parallel to this line. Now, AR is what? It is R minus A. AR is R minus A. Now, AR and a, B are collinear. You already know. If two vectors are collinear, then what will happen? We can write AR is lambda times of B. You can write this. AR is lambda times of B. So what is AR? AR is R minus A. R minus A is equal to lambda B. So we can shift this A to the right side. You will get R is equal to A plus lambda B. Okay. So uh, Josefa, please take a screenshot of this. Okay. And leave some lines in your register. You can note down later on. Is it done, Josefa? Okay, great, great. Now, this was a vector form. Okay, next is Cartesian form. Cartesian form. So, what we will do, we will as let A is equal to, that position vector A is equal to X1 I cap plus Y1 J cap plus Z1 K cap. This is A. Let B is equal to, what is B? B is a vector which was parallel to the line. So we have taken B as A I cap plus B J cap plus C K cap. Then we have a R. R is what? We are taking X I cap plus Y J cap plus Z K cap. What is the vector form we have? R is equal to A plus lambda B. A plus lambda B. Now put all the values here. What is R? R is X I cap, Y J cap, Z K cap. It is equal to what is A? A is X1 I cap, Y1 J cap, Z1 K cap plus lambda times of B. B is what? A I cap, B J cap plus C K cap. Okay. Now shift this to the left side. So you will get X I cap plus Y J cap plus Z K cap. Okay, minus this one, X1 I cap, Y1 J cap, Z1 K cap. It is equal to lambda, A I cap, plus B J cap, okay, plus C K cap. It is equal to, uh, now here what we will get, X minus X1 I cap, plus Y minus, Y minus Y1 j cap z minus z minus z1 k cap is equal to lambda a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap okay now compare this here on the left side you have a i component and on the right side you have the i component you can multiply this with lambda so I will write like this, multiply all these with lambda. So you'll get lambda A, lambda B, lambda C. Now compare this, I component is X minus X1. Here the I component is lambda A. So you will get X minus X1 is equal to lambda A. Y minus Y1 is equal to lambda B. Z minus Z1 is equal to lambda C. Shift this A to the left side, you will get X minus X1 by A is equal to lambda. Y minus Y1 by B is equal to lambda. Z minus Z1 by C is equal to lambda. Now, please check here. All these three are equal to lambda. So, what we can say? 
okay this is equal to lambda this is also equal to lambda and this is also equal to lambda so we can say x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c so this is your cartesian form okay this is your cartesian form and this was your vector form where everything was in vector and this is your cartesian form so in your exam they can uh, give you in a question that find the vector or cartesian form okay if nothing is given then it's your wish you can find vector or cartesian if it is given in the question then please find both okay now uh, if you will check here what is x1 y1 z1 it is the x is it is the uh, i component j component and z component of a vector of a point which is given a b c are the direction ratios of this vector which was parallel to the line okay note down this we will try a question then uh, you will be able to understand this better okay please complete this uh, raise your hands if it is done Uh, Atif, Zephyr, Saf, Nabil, uh, please raise your hands if it is time. Okay, Nabil, good. Atif, Saf. One minute, sir. Okay. Okay, that's very good. Then who's your friend, sir? I'm waiting for you. Please let me know once it is done.
Is it done, Saf and Uzifa? Yes, sir. Okay, Uzifa, is it done? Uzifa, did you miss anything? Next, please try this. Find the vector and the Cartesian. Find the vector and the Cartesian. And Cartesian equations of the line. Equations of the line through the point through the point this one five comma two comma minus four and and which is parallel and which is parallel to the vector to the vector uh, 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 8k cap. Okay. Please try this question and share your answer. First, share the vector form with me.
Sir, can you say how to find lambda? Uh, yes, please check here. What is the vector form, sir? Sir, what is the vector form? What is the formula? Um, R vector equals to A vector plus lambda B vector. Yes, A plus lambda B. Okay, what is A here, sir? Um, a phi i plus two j minus four k. Very good. Okay, all of you, your line is passing through this point. So A is this. What is B? B is 3i plus 2j plus 3i plus 2j minus 8k. Very good. So here you don't need to find the lambda. Let's check here. R is equal to A plus lambda B. So A is 5i phi phi cap plus 2j cap minus 4k cap plus lambda into B. B is what? 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 8k cap okay so this is your complete formula you don't need to find the value of lambda it is the standard equation so this is the final answer okay sir okay sir okay so all of you please check here here you don't need to find the value of lambda it is your standard equation this is your final answer Okay, so you we have find out the answer in vector form. Now similarly find the answer in Cartesian form. I have already given you the formula. Please use the formula and find the answer in Cartesian form and let me know. Uh, sir, is it x minus five by three is equal to y minus uh, two by two is equal to z plus four by minus eight? Very, very good, Adev. It is correct. Very good. It is the Cartesian form. Josefa, Saf, and Abil, uh, please share the Cartesian form if it is done. Uh, Josefa and Saf, is it done? Nabil, Josefa, my voice is audible. Josefa and Nabil, my voice is audible. Okay, Josefa, this is done. You have find out the Cartesian form. Nabil, Nabil, you got it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Josefa, what the answer you are getting? Will you please unmute yourself and tell me the answer? You are solving, okay. Please solve in further two, three minutes. Okay, you have this formula. You just need to use this formula. X minus X1, you have all the values. X1, A, B, X2, Y2. So please put all the values and share your answer.
Okay, uh, please check here. Uh, Josefa, uh, please tell me the formula, for Cartesian form. Josefa, it is better if you will unmute yourself. Okay, okay. x minus x1, okay, by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c. So, Josefa, uh, please tell me, uh, what is the value of x1? What is the value? 5. What's the value of A? 3. Okay, similarly, Y minus 2 by 2. Okay, is equal to Z plus 4 by minus 8. This is the final answer of Z4. Is it clear? Okay, Nabil, is it done? Nabil, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, great, great. Now, uh, we will start the next uh, topic. Uh, Josefa, I guess you have noted down this. So I'm going to start next type, type two. Type two. Equation of line. Equation of line. Equation of line. Passing through. Passing through. Two given points passing through two given passing through two given points. Okay, so this is X, this is origin, this is Y, and this is it. This is the line. This is point A. This is, uh, this is point B. Okay, your line is passing through this point. So this have the position vector. And then the position vector next is this. Okay, position vector of this is A. Position vector of this is B. Okay, then you have this point R. This have the position vector R. Okay, your line is passing through these two points A and B. So, uh, who can tell me? Nabil, Nabil, can you tell me what is AB here? Okay, I will for, uh, first let me write this. Uh, position vector point A, position vector, position vector of point A. What is B? Position vector of point B. Position vector of point B. Okay, uh, R you already know. R is position vector of point R. Position vector of point R. Of point R. Okay, tell me AB. Nabil, Nabil, can you tell me what is AB? Nabil, what is AB here? Uh, Nabil, you are not audible. What is AB? Sir, position vector of B minus position vector of A. Very good. B minus A. Can you uh, tell me, Nabil, what is AR? Sir, R minus A. Very good. R minus A. So, can we say that AR and AB are collinear? Everyone? Can we say that AB and A are, are collinear? Nabil, Josefa, Atif, Saf. Can yes. we say, okay, we can say AB and A are, are collinear. What are collinear? Two vectors which are parallel or anti-parallel. Okay, are said to be collinear. 
So these two are parallel. So we can say that A, B and A are collinear. A, B and A are, are collinear. So what we can say here, so A, B and, and A are, are collinear. Are collinear. So again, the same thing. We can say that A, R is equal to lambda times of A, B. What is AR? AR is R minus A. What is AB? AB is B minus A. So what is R in this case? R is A plus lambda B minus A. Okay. So this is your formula. This is your vector form. R is equal to A plus lambda B minus A. This is a vector form. Okay. So what is A? It is a point through which the line is passing. B is second point through which the line is passing. So if you need to find the vector form, then we will use this formula. R is equal to A plus lambda B minus A. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Please note down this. Raise your hands once it is done. Then we will start the second one. Uh, everyone, we have just 10 minutes. Please raise your hands once it is done. Is it done? Atif, Zephyr, Saf, Nabil? Yes. Okay. Zephyr, Saf, yes. Nabil. Okay. Zephyr, Saf, shall we start next? One minute. Okay. Yes, I'm done. Okay, sir. For Zephyr, is it done? Uh, 
Okay, okay, great. Now next one. We have find out the vector form. Next is Cartesian form. Okay. Cartesian form. We have this. Uh, uh, we will assume that A is equal to okay position vector point A is equal to uh, it is x1 i cap plus x2 j cap sorry y1 j cap z1 k cap then you have a b which is equal to x2 i cap y2 j cap z2 k cap then you have r r is equal to x i cap y j cap z k cap okay uh now what we have r is equal to a plus lambda b minus a lambda b minus a now r is equal to x1 i cap y1 j cap z1 k cap plus lambda b b is x2 i cap y2 j cap z2 k cap minus a is x1 i cap y1 j cap z1 k cap okay now what is r r is x i cap y j cap z k cap it is equal to x1 i cap y1 j cap z1 k cap plus lambda subtract these two x2 minus x1 so here you will get x2 minus x1 i cap y2 minus y1 j cap z2 minus z1 k cap okay now shift this to the left side so i'm writing directly when you will shift this x1 i cap it will become negative so it become x minus x1 i cap y minus y1 j cap z minus z1 k cap and it is equal to lambda x2 minus x1 i cap y2 minus y1 j cap z2 minus z1 k cap okay equate x comp i component y and z so check here here the i component is x minus x1 and here if you will see the i component is we will multiply this with lambda so lambda into x2 minus x1 lambda x2 minus x1 similarly y minus y1 is equal to lambda y2 minus y1 z minus z1 is equal to lambda z2 minus z1 so here you will get what shift this term so x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 so here you will get x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to lambda so here you will get y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to lambda here you have z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 is equal to lambda so what you will get then all are lambda so equate all these three so you will get x minus x1 uh, here you will get x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 by 
वाई टू माइनस वाई वन जेड माइनस जेड वन बाय जेड टू माइनस जेड वन ओके दिस इज योर फाइनल आंसर सो प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस दिस इज योर वेक्टर फॉर्म सॉरी दिस इज योर कार्डिशन फॉर्म Uh, note down this. Raise your hands once it is done. Okay. everyone please raise your hands if it is done i will change the slide you need to note down next one also sir can you please minimize the screen okay okay just just give me a minute okay Okay, Saf, Josefa, uh, Nabil, please confirm if it is done. I will change the slide. Yes, sir. Okay, so who is left? Josefa and Saf. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Josefa, is it done? I hope Josefa, you have also completed this. Okay, let me know if you miss anything. Please note down this. Yes, sir. 